If you really want to grow your one-person business, I made this video for you. I'll share the ultimate roadmap that will help you grow any one-person business. I had to make this video because I know that if you are a one-man show, you're probably overworked, confused, and you know that there is a much smarter and easier way to grow your business. Here, I'll break down the ultimate roadmap into three simple rules to follow. You need to follow all three rules if you want to set yourself for success and grow your business to six figures per year and why not seven figures per year. If you're already making 10k per month with your one person business, you'll greatly benefit from rule number two and rule number three. If you're just starting out, you really need to pay close attention to rule number one. Now let's start with the ultimate roadmap to grow your one person business. Rule number two, build solid foundation. Let me explain. Building a successful one person business is very much like building a house. I'll share a quick story that illustrates the importance of solid foundation. Once upon a time, a man wanted to build a house. He found a beautiful spot near the edge of a cliff and decided to build his dream house there. However, he did not spend much time on the foundation and simply placed the house on top of the soil. The house looked beautiful and the man was very happy with the house but soon the rains came as the soil underneath the house became saturated with water the house began to sink and tilt dangerously towards the edge of the cliff the man realized that he had made a critical mistake by not investing in a strong foundation. He decided to take action before it was too late. He brought an expert builder to help him shore the foundation with sturdy materials. After months of hard work, the house was finally sitting on a strong foundation. It stood proudly able to withstand the toughest of weather conditions. The man learned that investing in a solid foundation was crucial to building a lasting and secure home. Now, you know the importance of a solid foundation, but what is a solid foundation in business? I'm glad you asked. The first thing you need to have is target audience. If you sell anything to anybody, it will be very difficult to focus and create a strong marketing message. That's why you need to pick a very specific target audience. The more specific the audience, the easier it would be to market your products and services. Here, it is important to say that you need to pick an audience that already has money. If you're selling a 20k coaching program to university students, it will be very hard to make a decent living. However, if you shift your coaching program to help, let's say, surgeon, it will be much easier to make money and grow your business because surgeons might have more money than university students. The next business foundation that you need to figure out is your offer. Here, you need to be fully aware of what you offer to your customers and why your customers should choose you. And something very important, you need to price your offer the right way. If you charge too little, you won't be able to hire people to help you out and you won't be able to run ads. You'll be stuck in the rut race again because you charge way too little. If you charge way too high, many people won't buy and that will hurt your conversion rate. But from a business perspective, it would be much better to sell one product for 25K than 1000 products for $25. It's a different type of business, I know, but charging more will give you room to grow your business by hiring people, buying better tools, running ads, and so on. That's why you must price your products and services the right way. The third business foundation you need to figure out is your delivery system. You have your audience and you have your offer, but you need a way to deliver your offer to the right audience at the right time. There are many ways to do that. You can start running Facebook ads to your website or marketing funnel. Your website or your funnel is where your store your offer and Facebook ads are how you make people see your offer. In marketing, it's called a traffic system. You can use different tools as a traffic system. You can use Facebook ads, blogging, social media marketing, video marketing, and so on. If you're making under 10K per month or if you're struggling to make 10K per month consistently, you should work on your foundation. The next rule you need to follow if you really wanna grow your business regardless of how much money you make is rule number two, understand that there are only three ways to grow any one person business. The first way 
is to get more customers. The second way is to increase the average transaction value. And the third way is to make your customers buy more often from you. At a fundamental level, this is how you can make any business grow. If you have clients, think of a way to make them buy again and again and spend more money the next time they buy. You can create upsells on your website to increase the average customer value. If you want more clients, you can simply drive more traffic to your website, funnels or make more offers. The possibilities here could be endless, but it's a matter of planning your marketing strategy in advance so you can focus on those three activities. Now let's go to rule number three to grow your business drive more traffic. In many cases, what your business needs to grow is more traffic. Adding more traffic to a business that has a solid foundation, it's kind of like pouring oil into an already burning fire. The more oil you pour, the more the fire gets bigger and bigger. So if you already have a solid foundation, it's time to pour oil into that fire. As a one person business owner, you can only use two levers to pour oil or drive more traffic. You can invest either your time or your money to drive more traffic. Simply to drive more traffic with your time, you can send more cold emails, create more content, make more sales calls, and every manual way to drive traffic you can just do with your two hands and time. Here, with this way to drive traffic, you know it will be time and energy consuming, but it is a legit way to grow your business. I think people in America specifically call this sweat equity. <laughs> and I've been using sweat equity myself, even now this is a kind of a sweat equity. Anyway, the next lever you can use to drive more traffic is money. And it's much easier to do it with money, of course, if you have the money to pull this off. But the best way to drive more traffic could be to run ads. You can do Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads. If you need help with some of those platforms, please check the links in the description below. Or another way you can think about it is to pay other people to do the labor you're doing yourself. That could be hiring other people to send cold emails instead of you, hiring other people to do content instead of you and so on. Right now, at the end of this video, I'll share where your sticking points might be. If you're not making 10k per month, probably your offer and your target audience are way off. It might need a lot of work. Once you figure this out, it will be much easier to go to your target audience, make offers and get your first or next clients. If you are making 10k per month but not consistently, that means you figure out your offer and your audience but your pricing might need work. You might need to start charging more so you're able to use some of the levers that will help you drive traffic. And finally, if you're somebody who is making 20k per month consistently but you want to grow, you need to be braver and just run ads, just drive more traffic to your offers. It's as simple as that. If you need any help growing your one person business, please check the links in the description below. My name is Nico. Thank you for watching. In this channel, I talk about business and marketing. Make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.